University marks the beginning of the modernization and increased capability with the Afghan Air Force. The MI-17, the backbone of the Afghan rotary wing fleet, is old and it's showing its age. Uh, it's a capable airframe, the MI-17, but uh, after many, many years of wartime, it is unsustainable. The UH-60 is the answer to that sustainability problem that we're having. The aircraft you see behind me is a perfect example of a refurbished UH-60 Alpha model that the U.S. Army has turned in and the Afghan Air Force is receiving after refurbishment to its airframe and engines. The uh, aircraft is a sustainable aircraft. In fact, it is a very capable aircraft that was flown in Afghanistan by U.S. Army aviators until recently. The UH-60 is a proven troop and cargo transport aircraft. It will also be used as a casualty evacuation platform and it will also be used as a humanitarian assistance mission. In a country such as Afghanistan where it has vast deserts and towering mountain ranges, the accessibility of these areas to rotary wing aircraft is crucially important. Uh, with these rotary wing aircraft, the Afghan Air Force can reach out to a lot of these isolated populations and bring them the government presence that is so duly needed. The Afghans will begin flying and training on the UH-60 on the 1st of October. Uh, although we would like this capability to be up and running as soon as possible, building an Air Force takes time. And it takes many, many years during peacetime, and the Afghans are doing it during wartime. So it is a Herculean effort for the Afghans, and they are frankly knocking it out of the park.